Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This time I'm going to talk about some updates that has arrived in Material UI version 4.3. Uh, this month, uh, July, we have seen some pretty cool updates. Two new components that I am pretty excited about. One more than the other, of course, and I'll show you guys why. And then a pretty important um, prop change in a existing component that I'm gonna look at at the very end that I really like because I started to use um, text fields with the variant field more. Uh, I feel like I, I'm starting to need those more and more in the different projects I'm working on. I really like that design. Okay, so first thing, first new thing is a, the introduction of a new component called the button group and uh, I'm just gonna import it right away to show you guys how it works so let's import button group from material UI UI core and let's just put it right in so button group works basically like this uh, you ha have a button group as a parent and then you just have your buttons as um, the children and this button group will put the buttons together so they look nicely and you can pass a variant here to the button group to tell what kind of buttons it should be so say I want the contain one I can pass in contain just as I would do with a button so let's put in some buttons here uh, let's just call them one. Let's copy this. So now we have one, two, and three. Let's save it and see how it looks. All right, here we go. Here we have our button group. It looks kind of neat. They are grouped together like this, and you have the uh, rounded edges here on the one button and the free button and then you have the square edges in the middle button here and uh, another prop that's you guys you also will be probably using is the color one also a prop we know from button and if we pass in primary whoop, we get the primary theme color there actually very very simple uh, I won't dive deep more into that into this component as it's very simple and it's pretty cool um, there are definitely some scenarios where I would like to have kind of some buttons in a row and I would have to do some manual CSS back then to make it look nice and now I just get this component right out of the box that just works the next component which is prob probably the biggest announcement is uh, the introduction of our slider component. Slider component used to be in the material UI lab, kind of like the testing area for upcoming components for the material UI core library. And I have used it in the past and I have to say it was not very po polished, the one in the, in the lab library. And uh, it didn't have range sliders either. And there was some problems with uh, some, some different problems with the, the CSS actually when I tried to align it and there was a github issue about it and it never got fixed there, there was definitely some problems but now slider is back into material UI core or is finally in material UI core and uh, it's great actually let me just this is just the very basic slider as you can see here uh, let me just put some padding onto this uh, to this body so we can see it more clearly. If put padding 40 there, we can easily see it, yeah? So this is just a basic slider. Very basic, very cool. So easily as well. So easy to, to have a slider just like that. Now, if you want some more cool stuff, we can pass in a prop called value label display. And let's just put in on for now and see what that does. So this 
prop value label display is actually the label prop. So when I put it to on, as you can see, uh, the label is always showing. And the label is, the default one is kind of funny. It's like this little teardrop like this. And I think it looks pretty neat. Um, but usually you probably don't want to have on. Usually you will go for auto, but yeah, it depends on your use case, I guess. But here, if you put auto, it will appear as you start dragging away. Very cool. And with any good slider, we also have another prop. I'm just going to make a new slider component here. So we can kind of uh, compare them. And another prop we have is the step property that can that kind of decides how many um, how far do we move for each time we drag. So if we put 10 in here, this means every time I drag this slide a little bit, it will move 10 spaces. So from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. Yeah. Very cool. Um, and here, here to the main feature, uh, let me just, we're gonna need some state for this. So let me just drag in a hook here. Uh, let's just call it range set range and use state like that. And the default is an array. Let's just set it to from one zero to 100 like that. So. I'm just making use of the use state uh, hook here just to showcase this uh, great feature. So if we copy the slider and if you put in a value here and that value is an array, we will actually get range sliders. See? So here I have the 100 and over here I have the zero, right? And right now I can't actually drag because I don't have an unchange handler. So let's try to add that. So unchange, we get an event and a value. As usual with material UI, we get a value as the second argument. So if we just say set range here to whatever that value is, we basically made our unchange handler and we should be able to move stuff around. Yeah, see, looks very cool and it works easy implementation and uh, yeah that's uh, extremely simple to get our running and so far so good it's been working very well um, let me talk about the uh, last thing here so the slider is great and there are more props that you guys can play around with and you can customize it uh, as you want put some small uh, labels here at the bottom as you like and even change this teardrop to whatever design you like there are options for that so that's all great but the the last thing I want to talk about is kind of like a minor thing I guess for most people but for me it's it's kind of not a big one but it's definitely a cool one so if we are using the text field component yeah if I'm using the field variant and let's say I have a label here uh, let's just put in name like this let's try to save that so this looks very great or oh, this looks okay I have a label here I can target it start writing some stuff in the past if I wanted a filled text field and I didn't have a label right let's say I had no label it's, uh, it might not be so clear here actually. So let's just apply some styling to this div. Let's say display grid and then let's make, let's just make some gap between these. Okay, now it should be very clear. So see here, I don't have a label in this field, text field. I like that field look and feel, but I don't actually need a label here. And now I get this, I would say wasted space, yeah? 
Now, with the new version, we can pass in a new prop called hidden label, like this. So if we render this last text build, I can, I can show you guys what I mean. So now, see, we don't get uh, actually, yeah, we don't get this empty space on top. We kind of have everything in the middle, which is very nice. You don't have to start hacking away the CSS to make it look decent. Now it just works out of the box. It's very cool. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of that uh, underline there. So I usually pass in some extra props here, disable underline, just set that one to true. And now it looks great. Now it's just a very basic fill input, just how I like it, at least for many situations. I guess it depends, of course. All right, guys, that was all I want to show you. Some of the highlights from the new version of the June release of or July release of Material UI. If you guys uh, actually it's the June release, sorry. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a like, and uh, yeah, if you don't, don't, and uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Bye!